I don't know if some of you, I actually was reading and I was starting to fall asleep. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I got to go check out <laughs> this is what time it is. And sure enough, it was 5-2. All right. So we'll get through this stuff quick. And as soon as Kim gets on, we can let her take over and share all about her balls. <laughs> and they're so great. So I wanted to go over, first of all, some awesome events coming up. Can you guys hear me? Yeah? No? Okay. Um, so we've got our storytelling workshop tomorrow night with Trisha. It's going to be so good. She is an international speaker and trainer, and she is going to be teaching us how to tell a captivating story. So I'm sure all of you have experienced an amazing storyteller in the past where you're just hanging on every word they say, and then others who you can't get away from them fast enough. It's like watching paint dry, right? So she's going to teach us how to be these amazing storytellers and how we can pull bits out of our story because it's very rare that you can tell your entire story from start to finish with someone, right? Like me. So 10 years ago when I was first introduced to Juice Plus, that never happens unless I'm telling the story. But when I'm just meeting someone, I'll pull out a chunk, maybe about my daughter being an athlete or something like that. So how, do, how we can dissect our story and then pull out really great bits and make it, as I said, really captivating. And then on social media, how to do a post and make it really captivating as well. So you create a story behind those posts. So this is going to be so great. We're so excited to have her on there. So please, if you have not registered, I feel like a broken record for the last two weeks. <laughs> Every day I'm messaging people. If you have not registered, you need to you need to. And if you don't know what you're doing, where to go, message your upline and they will add you to the private Facebook group. And then we're going to post the link for it in that group. We'll probably actually send it out through Eventbrite because I think you register through Eventbrite. And then we're going to send the message out through Eventbrite. And I'm also sending out a workbook that you guys need to download before she starts tomorrow night as well. She's just supposed to be sending it to me tonight. So that is so exciting coming up tomorrow. It's going to start at nine o'clock sharp. So we will get on a few minutes earlier so we can hit the ground running right at nine o'clock and then she will talk for about an hour and then stay on for question and answer afterwards it's going to be so great and depending on how we enjoy it and what we get out of it which I'm sure we're going to love it we're going to book her again for you guys um, in the new year to do like a follow-up sort of a next steps after that so make sure storytelling workshop then we have Michelle Ball coming two weeks today or Sorry, a week today. Oh my gosh, already that time. Is that right? Can't be. Seriously, is it just a week? It really is one week. So this is the Michelle Ball schedule. We have her Wednesday for lunch in Aurora, Wednesday night in Toronto. So think of who do you know where. Um, uh, Friday lunch in Barrie. Friday night in Aurelia. Hopefully you guys are coming up for that. We're going to have fun social afterwards and then all day Saturday. And she is doing the better part of the training on Saturday. So it's great. And so some of you are new, you're like, okay, who's Michelle? Why is Melissa so excited about her? So Michelle Ball is the top female income earner in Canada. But again, big deal. What does that mean? She is, in my opinion, one of the top trainers, and I'm going to say in North America, if not even bigger than that, she is the master storyteller. And I remember a few years ago, we were at conference together at one of the functions and just talking and she was in a rough patch in her business and she was only at a 12 club. And for those of you that don't know what that means, it just means she had 12 distributors underneath her that had a qualified business. Within one year's time, she had grown to over a 100 club. So you can bet she's going to have a lot of awesome training to share with us. And she is funny, and she's raw, and she's real, and she just tells it like it is, and she's awesome. So, so teaching all of us how to be so vulnerable. Um, she was a science teacher. She's now, I don't know quadrupled her income since then and is able to stay home with her two kids but now with her um not so much new but fairly new partner they have a blended family so she's able to stay home and he um is no longer traveling for work anymore so it's an amazing story so you've got to come out and like i said her story is um it, her her training is as amazing as her story so you've got to come out for that get your tickets 
All the links for tickets are on our team website under events. Oh, we've got Kim on the call. Um, let me just do it. There was just one, two more events I just wanted to mention, and then we'll hand that over. Um, on, oh, what's the date? November 23rd, just north of Newmarket here in East Willowbury. Alyssa is doing a talk on mental health and nutrition. I don't know about you guys, but I swear it's every third post somebody is saying, please post this, let somebody know that you're listening. Like mental health is it's just out of control and we can make such a huge difference with good nutrition. Um, so she's doing a talk on that. And again, um, that poster will be on juice plus events, Canada. It's not our team event, so we don't have it on there, but that's where you'll find that one. And then on the 30th, we have Jen Pike doing a mother daughter talk on hormones basically. And that will be on our event. So if you're not too familiar with our website, get on there, get familiar with it, go to the events tab and uh, write down all the events on there. So at least you know what's going on. You can share with your team and you'll be able to hopefully get out to lots and lots. So I'm going to stop there, take a breath. And Kim, where are you, girlfriend? There you are. Start talking so you'll get bigger on my screen. Can you hear me? Yes. Look at okay. you. You look so pretty. How are you? Oh, this is like 7 a.m. makeup going all day strong. I had art masterpiece today with my boys, and then I stayed for a school-wide campus family picnic, and I've been to a football practice and baseball practice, and now I'm sitting in Starbucks parking lot. <laughs> Loving the life. That's awesome. That's so great. You get to do all of that with your boys. Be there for all of that stuff. That's I so love great. it. I love it. Good. good. It's so, so great. Kim is one of our sideline buddies. So she is, um, so you guys all know Nicole and then Sarah is under Nicole and then Kim is under Sarah. So she's one of our sideline buddies from Arizona. So enjoying some nice weather, unlike the rest of us in toques and three layers. And uh, she's a mom of two boys and an army wife and absolutely rocking this business. And uh, she's the queen of balls. <laughs> What else could I say? She has come up with the most incredible recipe. So I'm going to let her share with you how she runs these amazing ball parties. So take it away, Kim. All right. I'm going to try to screen share. I whipped up this little PowerPoint. Actually, I had my eight-year-old help me. So let's see if I can figure this out. Uh... All right, can you guys see this? <laughs> Love the title, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not super savvy when it comes to PowerPoints. I mean, I told you my eight-year-old had to teach me how to do this. So um, this is, I'm winging it, and that's about how I do my business, and it's awesome on the fly. But like uh, Melissa said, my name is Kim Barker. I'm a senior sales coordinator with the Juice Plus Company, and I live in Gilbert, Arizona with my husband and two boys, and my husband does serve in the Army, and so we'll be celebrating him along with all the other um, servicemen and women on Friday. It's our Veterans Day. Um, so I have implemented balls into my business. We have done salad in a jar, soup in a jar, um, oats in a jar. Um, we've done wine and wellness, salad and sangria, smoothies and yoga. We've done it all. And the newest addition to the events calendar are balls. And we have a lot of fun with our balls. So you are going to hear a lot of puns, and if you are easily offended, then you're on the wrong team. Um, okay, so you've got to love balls. I mean, who doesn't love balls? Big balls, small balls, tasty balls, crunchy balls. I mean, have fun with it. Seriously, I like big balls, and I'm not going to lie. We giggle so much at these events, you guys. Like, seriously. Seriously, we are having fun and busting balls. And we serve our balls with wine. And let me just tell you, I've learned from experience, you need a straw. 
because when your hands are all sticky from balls, you need to be act able to access your wine. Definitely do the straw. Okay, also you can make it kid friendly. Kids like balls too, include the kids. Um, the kids are our taste testers. They get messy in the kitchen with us. It is a lot of fun. And we're not gonna leave out the fellas because trust me, they love balls too. All right, so you're gonna create an event on Facebook just like you would for your salad party or whatever kind of event you're doing. And this is just kind of a, a script, a detail we cut and copy. We use the Microsoft OneNote app on our phone and so you can save everything by like tabs and files. Um, so I have a tab on my in my notes and it is a ball event. So when I'm ready to do my ball party, I go create a new event and I copy and paste these, um, this description. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm saying here, please join us to make healthy, complete vegan protein balls. These are a great healthy snack the entire family will love. This event's so much fun. You don't want to miss it. RSVP, we only have room for 10. You really don't want your ball party getting much larger. Um, everyone needs their own workstation. And um, you just, you're gonna need the counter space, you're gonna need the table space, and we found 10 to be a great number because uh, everyone will usually go home with at least two dozen balls if 10 people are in attendance. The supplies needed to attend the ball party. You're gonna need to bring with you a mixing bowl, a spoon or a spatula, think baking, not like frying, spatula, measuring spoons and measuring cups, a cookie sheet, and a storage container that's gonna be able to take home one to two dozen balls that are like one inch in size. You're also going to need, as a guest, to contribute to the pantry. The pantry is a community pantry and you're donating your items to attend for the party. So you'll need to pick two ingredients, either gluten-free oats, gluten-free rice puff cereal, nut butter or nut-free butter, peanut, cashew, almond, sun butter, honey or agave nectar. So these items are pretty much a staple in almost all of the recipes that we found. Um, I have a ton of recipes. I probably have a couple dozen recipes. And some of them will call for like vanilla extract or um, lemon juice or depend coconut, shredded coconut, chocolate chips, pumpkin. So there's some ingredients that are going to differ depending on what specific recipe you're making. But as a host, all of the reps that are attending cover all of those like smaller ingredients. These main bulk ingredients, your guests should be providing. Um, so they are called complete balls for a reason. You need to bring with you your complete vegan protein mix um, as you're gonna need it for all of your recipes. If you don't have complete, that's fine. We're selling individual um, bags of complete. So we have the mini bags that we'll sell and we say $5 cash because that's what it costs in the U.S. Two complete are two of our like mini like satchel bags. So you'll want to adjust your price in Canada for to compensate what two servings of complete are going to be. Do send reminders. So when you're having a an event on Facebook, you'll want to be in your event, um, inspiration pictures, fun pictures, why they want to come, where they can use these balls for. So breakfast, who likes balls for breakfast? I mean, I love stuffing my mouth full of tasty balls in the morning. Who doesn't? So you can put them in the kid's lunchbox. Um, you can put them, we, I pick up my kids and I have like a cooler bag because we're bouncing from like one sport activity to the next. So Post in your Facebook party, um, your Facebook event, just like you would for any other party. Um, send lots of reminders. So 
reminders. Don't drop the ball. Bring these items with you. Like you will not be able to do no baking ball making if you don't have a mixing ball, a spatula, measuring cup, spoon, and a sheet. And then this um, doesn't say, but the container. So Susie on our team is kind of our, our raw vegan chef. And she's so funny because she's all about like proper kitchen etiquette. And she's like, don't worry, we'll provide the gloves for you to handle your balls. <laughs> we are not as classy. We don't use gloves at our ball parties. Okay, so you want to go balls to the wall. You want your people having an awesome experience when they come to your house. So you're going to want to have your community pantry kind of like lined up so that it's easy to access the ingredients. As you can see, we have um, people that have donated the rice puff cereal. We have, um, Rhonda is so sweet. She likes to pre-measure out the oats so it's easy for everyone to grab and then they don't have to measure the like cup of oats. So these are the oats. You can see other bags of oats back here. You can see honey. You can see the peanut butter. There's lemon juice for the lemon recipe. There's some chocolate chips. Complete. You get the idea. This is the pantry. Everyone shops from the pantry. You will want to have your recipes printed and um, put in plastic sleeve page protectors. This makes it super easy that they can have their recipe next to them at their workstation. So we usually have these pre-printed. Um, some parties we've gone like super crazy and every single person at the party is making a different recipe. We've kind of found that that can get a little crazy. So we stick to about three recipes, maybe four if we're feeling a little frisky, but we find our favorite ones and just kind of keep it simple. So this is pretty much a standard recipe that you're going to see at one of our parties and we can like get super crazy by throwing shredded coconut and chocolate chips in it. That tastes delicious by the way. Share the mission, the products, and the business at all of your ball parties. We are mission driven. We are getting our community of friends and family together. We are gathered around a table. We are having fun and we are doing it for a purpose. We are on a revolution. So don't miss the opportunity to have people in your home and share why you're inspired to make healthy recipes. Um, they're there for a reason. They want to feel your excitement and your passion. So don't miss the opportunity to share why we're all gathered together, what our mission is, what these products that they're using. You definitely want to talk about the business. We get to do this. This is so much fun, but this is also our business. This, be, this provides a way for me personally to stay home with my kids, to be able to volunteer in the classroom, to drive them to all their sporting events. So sharing is a huge part of your event. Do ask a shredder to share their shred story with you. So this is a great opportunity to invite your current shredders and people that are interested in shredding um, to an event. These are shred friendly snacks. Um, and there's no reason they already have their complete on hand. Show them a different way to use their complete. We can make muffins, we can make pancakes, we can make puddings, we can make ice cream, we can make balls all with our complete. So get your shredders involved. Ask them to share their story. They will want to talk. Trust me. They're loving their shred. They're going to want to talk about it. Um, and then you're going to want everyone to have a, their own individual workstation. So you can see there's room for Courtney's mixing bowl and her ingredients and her recipe, um, her cookie sheets laid out here. So when she's done um, mixing everything up, she'll have a spot to roll. So that's why you want to put a cap on your event because you want it to flow. Um, you want everyone to have enough space and you just want to be able to have fun 
in an environment that accommodates everyone. You don't want people like, oh, sorry, you have to wait your turn. There's not enough room for you. So you just want to make sure that you are mindful of how big your space is. Okay. Have products on display. Don't miss the opportunity for them to taste um, not only our complete that we're serving up, but our gummies and our capsules. We usually slice up the little bars into bite-sized pieces so everyone gets to sample those as well. Um, oh, here's Rhonda. Products on display. Do sample smoothies. Serve up some shakes. Who doesn't want a little shake with their balls? So we always try to make a vanilla smoothie and a chocolate smoothie. And we sit, always stick with the simplest basic recipe. Usually the chocolate is banana and peanut butter, and usually the vanilla is spinach and banana. That is easy, it's duplicatable, it's non-threatening, and it always tastes delicious. That is our go-to recipe at um, any event we have. Those are the two recipes that we're gonna be serving when we're serving our shakes. Do take a lot of pictures and post them. Come up with creative hashtags, have fun with it, go live. Make sure people know that we are having fun and that they missed out because they're gonna have FOMO and they're gonna wanna be at your next fall party. Always eat tasty, delicious balls with Mitra. Hashtag life goals. I mean, any chance you get Mitra to like stuff your balls in her mouth, you take it. Variety is the spice of life. Don't like be boring and just do one recipe. Give them options. It's so much fun. You know, we've started doing um, a ball party. We alternate our ball and salad party, and it's every Sunday at 3 p.m. And so we try to rotate our recipes. Um, do we, ha we have a couple dozen recipes at one ball party. I am not going to lay out two dozen recipes. I'm going to pick a couple because I'm not going to show them all my cards. I want them coming back and bringing a friend. So I'm going to make sure that they know that the next party, they're going to get a different recipe. And that's it. That's all I got. So Q&A, what do you guys got for me? That was so good, Kim. I was killing myself laughing over here. Can you guys hear me? I'm trying headphones so you don't have to hear Wonder Woman in the background. Is this good? I can hear you. Okay, good. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for Kim? Just unmute yourself quick and ask. I know you guys have been doing ball parties, so maybe if you don't have a question, you can share with me your experience. Can you Are stop they... sharing, Kim, so we can see you? Oh. And... Kim, well, I have a question. It's Jen Brennan. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can yes. hear Jen. Uh, hey, Kim. That was awesome. Hey, girl. Thanks. Totally, totally great. Okay, so my question is, um, so when you say that you have the pantry, which is an amazing idea, how, like, do you delegate to them what, to each guest, what they're going to be bringing for the pantry so that you don't end up with, like, 50 bags of gluten-free oats? Because um, we've, like, I've only done one so far, and we did, everybody brings 10 bucks, and I went and got all the ingredients, and it was, like, way too much work. So we have another one this coming week, and I like the idea of the pantry. And then do you just keep everything there for the next party, and then when you start to get low, you kind of delegate? Yeah, so um, just like a salad party where you ask people to sign up for their ingredients, um, we don't do like a, um, a sign-up genius or anything. We just ask people to post right. um, what they're bringing. So then, they're bringing. Then, then we have an idea. And yes, I do okay, keep... So just... Sorry, my lights just went out in the car. I don't know if you can see me. That's okay. Okay, um... So yeah, we're just asking everyone um, post like what you're bringing. So if someone says oats, then the next person, or it's two ingredients. So if they say oats and honey, then the next person we might say like, okay, could you pick up the, the rice cereal with the peanut butter or something like that. But every recipe okay. typically has like a cup of oats, a cup of cereal, or a cup of peanut butter. Um, the honey, we like, it, it fluctuates. It, we don't, a lot of the recipes call for like a, um, I don't know, like a half a cup. We'll do like a fourth of a cup. I'm like, really? We don't need that okay. much. <laughs> so, 
So, yeah, and then, yeah, like that. yeah, so that's how we do our pantry. And then I just keep like a bag um, and keep all the ingredients together. So then the next ball party, I just bring my bag and we can see like if we need to start replenishing things. So like vanilla extract, like that's going to So party, you don't need someone to sign up for vanilla extract. Um, you can right, just right. move from party to party. Okay, that's awesome. Sweet. Thanks so much, Kim. That's amazing. Thank you. I got will, you will you share some of your recipes with us, Kim? If you've got Absolutely. some new ones. Yeah. Um, so we have a lemon coconut one that is to die for. So that's I'll, I can my post favorite. all of these. On yeah. Um, Pumpkin's really big right now. Everyone wants a pumpkin recipe at the ball party. And so we usually add chocolate chips into that because, I mean, who doesn't like chocolate chips in their pumpkin? It's so good. <laughs> There's a really good one. It's kind of like a truffle almost. It's like a little peanut butter ball, and then you dip it in um, chocolate. You complete and coconut oil and you like dip it in that and then you stick it in the fridge and it kind of gets like that hard shell on it. So that one's like a favorite. The snickerdoodles always favorite. Everyone loves the snickerdoodle one. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then like the rice one kind of tastes like rice krispies. So yeah. that one's a favorite. Yeah. I have some of those. So that would be, that's great. If you've got some new ones and then we'll pass them on to everybody. We did, you actually posted them way back when on our team page. So oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, if there's any new ones. Yeah. That's okay. uh, like, yeah, I'll look and see. We're always okay. adding. And then a lot of the recipes you guys will see, it's just trial and error. Some of them are going to turn out a little dry and you can just add a little water or almond milk. Um, just play around with it. I mean, they're all edible ingredients. You can't really go wrong like okay a little more peanut butter a little more honey a little more oats like um it's you just have fun with it it's not like a super like science behind it yeah dumping ingredients in a bowl that's awesome well thank you so much kim that was so fun so you're fun welcome. thanks guys i appreciate it. thanks for having me on you're welcome so you're welcome to stay on but we're just going to keep going down through the list here yes. of stuff so I covered all the events, and I'll go through this really quick, guys, because it's already 9.30. Um, Eric Worre, the author of Go Pro, uh, his books are free right now. You just go to his website, networkmarketingpro.com, and you can order the books. If you do not have one, you need to order it immediately as soon as we finish with this call. Um, I believe if you enter a separate email address, you can order a second book. So you do that for team that will be coming on if you have current team. Um, teach them where to go and let them get a book. And this honestly will become your Bible. Um, for those of you, some of you were on our grad calls on Monday. It was the first week. Uh, Jen and Sarah and I, we had so much fun putting them together and doing the first week. And we had great numbers out. We had 14 for the VFs, 10 for the SCs, and 9 for the SSCs. So we're so excited that uh, we're creating this momentum and going to get people moving through the marketing planning and achieving their goals. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to get with your upline and ask them and that you can get connected into these groups. We want you guys on there. There's three different groups. And if you weren't on last week, jump on next week. And again, catch up with um, either Jen, Nicole, you know, Jen, Nicole will, she was away this week, but Jen, Sarah, Beardmore and I, and we can tell you what we talked about and bring you up to speed so that you can jump in the following week. Uh, an update, we had our NMD call this morning. Um, as always, sales are up by 10%, uh, double digit growth. We actually tripled our business in five years. So things are going along amazing. I, I feel like a broken record. It's always a good time, it really is. It's always a good time to uh, get involved in this business. It's just growing bigger and better all the time. Um, so looking at my notes down here. So the tower garden lights and the new micro um, greens extension kit is supposed to be coming in early in the next year. Um, Brave Leaders, that's going to be starting in the new year. Um, they allocated 70 spots for, for the leadership levels. So 
if you haven't received it, um, reach out and we will um, get that organized for you or what, find out what's going on um, or you'll be put into the next group coming up. So just reach out so we can help you out with that. Uh, what else? And oh, the company is covering a huge amount of cost for you guys. As NMDs, we're paying 200 for this training, but um, everyone else is only 100 bucks, so they're covering a huge amount for you. This Brave Leaders is with Brene Brown. I'm not going to get into who she is now, but she is brilliant. She's an author among many things. Um, you can Google her and read all about her. So it's B-R-E-N-E -E Brown. She's written several books, as I mentioned. She's great. So our company has actually partnered with her to do this incredible training. And uh, they did the first wave already in the States as a pilot program and had rave reviews on this. So we're so excited to be having this personal development going on. Um, the children's health study fees, they have increased from 45, sorry, from $35 a year to $45 simply because of the cost of product, the cost of business, this program has increased, but it's now being paid, um, in installments spread out over the 12 months. And if someone stops participating, you don't have to pay you don't contribute anymore. Whereas in the past, that $35 was collected with the first payment. And then if they did stop, we had already paid for it. So now it's being spread out like that. And it's still being shared. So it is absolute peanuts for us being able to contribute in the lives of others. And, and let your um, customers know that when you're sharing a children's health study with them, that we as distributors actually participate actively and financially in this program because we know what it'll do for them and for their children. So it's exciting see if there's anything else um we have a facebook group being run by stephen millman for senior sales coordinators gunning for q and q sorry yeah no no sorry for q's <laughs> um uh gunning wait a minute yeah q's gunning for nmd so uh sarah you should be in that group right and then once you guys graduate from each of the groups, we'll just keep moving you up into those groups. So it's great. We're going to have so much accountability and camaraderie and buddying up in these uh, groups. It's going to be great. See if there's anything else I think I've covered. Oh, I can't even read my own writing here. Oh, the new complete bags. They are... They don't have an exact date. It just depends when we use up all of the packaging that was already produced. Um, but they probably the new year sometime and they are um, shorter, but a little bit wider and they actually stand up better. They're more like a little, still the same material and everything, but almost like a little box. They're supposed to be more stable. But the better, the best part about it is the zip on the top is uh, closing better. I don't know about you guys. A lot of times I end up just putting a clip on it because I can't get the stupid thing <laughs> ziplocked or close again. So I think that is all of the updates for you guys. And again, storytelling next week, Michelle Ball the week after that, or sorry, storytelling tomorrow, Michelle Ball the week after that. We can open it up if anybody has questions about anything, it's covering a million things so fast. Otherwise, good night. Anyone? Anyone at all? Yeah, Melissa, what did you say about um, Brene Brown? When, when will that be? What, what do you do to be able to see her? So it's not her. It's a program that they've put together in conjunction with her, a personal development program. I barely read an email. Um, so there's going to be accountability groups and things like that. And that's really all I can tell you so far because we haven't even started. There's work that we have to do on our own. And then when you're in the accountability group and then there's a leader and that lasts for, I want, I want to say 12 weeks. I'm not even sure to be honest. I just got the email today. So they started the email earlier with um, senior sales coordinators, I think. And above. Yeah. Yep. 12 weeks. Okay. okay. Oh, Sarah, do you got more information you want to share? Sure. Marin? Um, well, the email I got was just saying that it's 12 weeks. I got it for the January group. Yep. And it's 12 weeks and it's in, yeah, in conjunction with Brene Brown and it, you know, you work eight people work with a dedicated uh, leader 
in, during the 12 weeks and you have assignments to do and you have to commit the full thing. If you can't commit the full 12 weeks, then you go for the next session. So it seems, it sounds really interesting. Um, I can forward you the email, Megan, so you have something to work for, like work towards once you get to the SSC level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, That's about it. That's all I got. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Anybody else? Hey. Oh, look at my hair. <laughs> no? All right. On that note, I'll say good night. Thanks again for making this a priority and tuning in. And uh, we'll see you on the um, storytelling workshop tomorrow night.